Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to yet another tutorial video. If you're new here, you are most welcome. My name is Chichi, and if you're a returning subscriber, thanks for always coming back. So, in today's tutorial, guys, we are going to be making this beautiful corset skirt. I'm sure you are in love with the skirt already. Fun fact, I am so obsessed with the skirt. Like, I am so in love with it. It's so comfortable. It's a corset, but it is not giving you that discomfort that comes with corset on a normal day. I'm so comfortable in this skirt. As you can see, like, I'm so going to rock this skirt. This is so beautiful. Like, this is beautiful. It is so comfortable to walk around it, to see it, to do anything that you feel like doing on a normal day. And that's the good part of this skirt. So guys, let me know your thoughts on the combination. Which of them do you prefer? Do you prefer the black to black or the animal skin to the black? Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a like and as always, share your thoughts in the comment section. Without further ado guys, let's dive right into the tutorial. For this tutorial, I'll be using a pattern paper, a tape rule, my rulers, my fabric, a fishing line, and even boning, okay? And for the measurement of the length of the skirt, you're going to be starting from somewhere around the breast point all the way down, as you can see on your screen, okay? That's how you measure the length. And the first measurement is the half length, and from the breast point, the half length for this uh, particular skirt, for this measurement, is 7 inches. And then you have the hip line from the around the breast point area to be 14 inches. We have the half length to be 26 inches. And then of course you have the skirt length to be 36 inches plus the foot edge allowance. But in this case, because we've exhausted the total length of the pattern paper, I'm going to be adding the foot edge allowance on the fabric. So I mark both measurements all the way around the pattern paper and then I connect the points together, okay? So after the connection of all the points, I'm going to be labeling the points. And for the first one, since it's around the breast point area, around the breast point and under bust area, I'm going to be using the under bust measurements at that point. And here is going to be the half waist measurements. And then we have the hip line and of course the half length, okay? So this is basically the measurements I'm going to be using. So at this point, I'm going to be marking the under bust round measurement divided by 4, then add the seam allowances. So the under bust measurement divided by 4 gave me about 7.35. And for this particular skirt, if you notice, we have these three mini darts, okay, as you can see on your screen. So for this particular one, I'm going to be using half inch for each of the darts. So th for the three of them, it's going to give me a total of 1.5 inches seam allowance. And then I add an extra half inch seam allowance. So that's it for the upper measurement. And then coming down to the half waist measurements, you're going to be using your waist measurements minus one inch okay so whatever you have you divide it by four for example if the waist is 31 inches you are going to be using 30 inches and then you divide the 30 inches by four and then you mark that remember at the upper side we added 1.5 inches for those mini darts so you come down here and you also add the 1.5 and then you add your half inch seam allowance so for this half inch seam allowance that i'm adding if you like you can skip adding them on your pattern paper and then add them by the time you are cutting your fabric so whichever one you do you are still going to get the same results okay so for the hip measurement i divide the hip by four and then i'm not going to be adding those 1.5 inches i'll just add the half inch seam allowance and then at the half length area what i'm going to be doing at this point because it's a very penciled skirt if you are a beginner you are the reason why i'm doing this but if you are not a beginner you do not need this particular uh, step you already know what to do okay so for beginners to make sure you get your skirt well penciled if you see at this hip line, whatever I get there, that's the total um, hip measurement divided by four plus half inch. Whatever I have, I just minus one inch at that from there and then I mark at the half length. And then at the skirt length as well, whatever I have at this half length, I just minus half an inch. I mark at that point. Okay, I hope you understand the points I just made. So this is basically all I have and I'm going to be connecting the points together. This is for the front part of the skirt. Okay, I hope you understand all the connections and the markings. Like I said, for the hip line and the half length, whatever you have at the hip line, you subtract one inch 
at the half length, okay, and you mark that. And whatever you have at the half length, you subtract half an inch, and that's what you're going to be marking at your skirt length. So that's basically what it takes to get your front part of the skirt marked out so looking at the skirt we can see that the center front and back is much lower than the sides okay and we already know that this part of our pattern paper like i said earlier is our center fold area for the pattern paper this is going to be the center fold area okay so for the fabric we are going to be folding this part into two so at this center piece area you are going to be coming down by about five to six inches but i'm going to be using in between that is 5.5 inches i come down by 5.5 inches and i'm going to connecting it you know to the side of the skirt at this point of the seam allowance okay so i'm going to be connecting that you can see where i connected not at the very edge of the skirt and then i have that cut out and i'll also have the body of the skirt cut out so this is what i have for the front part of the skirt and i'm going to be using this to cut the back part as well so i place it on the leftover pattern paper and for the back we're going to be adding the zipper allowance of about one inch or 1.5 depending on what you have so i mark out the zipper allowance of one inch at the center back as well so this is the zipper allowance and then i have the points connected together and this is what i have for the back and also at the upper part i you know extend the zipper allowance at this point and then i have that cut out and at this point our both front and back pattern is ready and we can now use to cut on our main fabric so i'm going to be proceeding to cutting our fabric with these patterns so for the fabric i'm going to be using this uh, scuba like sample fabric and as you can see like i said this is our center fold area and for the fabric i have that point folded into two so i place my pattern on it and i'm going to be cutting exactly what i have on the pattern like i said i already added my half inch seam allowance at the side it's only at the upper part that i'm going to be adding another half inch and as you can see the fabric is rumpled so i have to have it straightened out so that i can cut out perfectly so like i said i'm adding half inch at this upper part so i added that and i have that cut out for the sides i didn't add anything i said that i already added my half inch seam allowance when i was drafting the pattern so that's it for the front and then for the back as well i'm going to be doing the same thing like i did in the front cutting so at this point we are ready for the main work i'm sure you remember our three mini dots so it's time for us to apply those dots and for that i'm going to be um dividing each side of the front into three places but before that i'm going to be taking out the same allowance of half inch okay so this is the same allowance i take that out so whatever i have from this point to the center front i'm going to be dividing it into four to give me those three points okay so i have a total of 10 inches i divided by four each of them is going to give me 2.5 inches so i'm going to be marking the 2.5 inches from this point this is the first 2.5 and then the next 2.5 and then the last 2.5 okay as you can see i got a total of three points for those mini darts okay and for the length of each dart i'm going to first of all get the longest dart okay so for the longest dart that's the one at the extreme side I'm going to be taking out about 2 or 2.5 inches from the hip line upward, okay? So this is what that gives me. So I mark that all the way to the center foot area because this is going to guide the other length of the dart. So I have all the three dots marked out up to that point. And please note that whatever I do to this point is going to be reflecting on the second side or the other side of the skirt. So to get that done, I'm going to be folding each of the dots and have it well pressed out so that it can reflect on the second side or the other side of the skirt okay so i'm going to be doing that to the three darts that we have marked out so i have that iron that and for this particular fabric i'm i'm going to apply pressure because it is quite thick so that it can you know show at the other side so once i have all that done i'm going to be opening up the skirt and have it turned to the right side and this is what we have so as you can see we have the lines reflecting on both sides of the skirt so at this point remember we already marked out the length of each dart so i'm going to be repeating that on the right side of the skirt okay so that it's going so that it can guide you know the stitching of the dart so for the dart lines i'm going to faintly mark out those lines as well on the right side so this is the right side of the skirt just in case you do not know and i have that all marked out just like i did to the wrong side of the skirt and also for the dart lines at this point they are not going to be equal because we have them to be long longer and longer so for the longest one i'm going to be using this point that i already marked out that's for the longest one and for the next one i'm going to be taking out one inch from the 
longest one and the next one I take out one inch. So each of the darts is one inch shorter or longer than the other, basically, okay? So I do that to both sides of the darts. You know, we have a total of six darts for the front, okay? So that's basically how you go about the marking of the length of the darts. So the front is set for stitching. So let's proceed to the back of the skirt. So for the back of the skirt, all you need to do is you just take out your, first of all, you take out your zipper allowance and also your seam allowance, just like we did to the front. You take that out for the back as well. And next, you're going to be measuring this point size from the zipper allowance to the seam allowance. You get the midpoint. So the midpoint gave me about, I think, 5.5 inches. So I have that marked out. And just like we measure the length of the darts for the front, you come to the back, you measure that out, and then you have that connected upward like so so for this point this is going to be our dart line the back is not going to have all those three that like the front okay so for this dart line all i need to do is take this point up and then i fold it into two and have it well ironed out so after the ironing i make sure that i have the length of the dart you know marked out once again and at this upper point i'm going to mark it out half an inch and then i connect just like a dart like so as you can see i have that connected and this point i'm going to be cutting that off i'm not going to be just you know stitching it so i have that cut off and this is what the back part looks like okay so this is what we have for the back of the skirt and at this point all the 